Hello and welcome to this video. In recent news, the United States and the Philippines have taken action against Chinese boats in Ayunjan, Philippine waters. The incident has sparked tensions in the region and raised concerns about China's territorial claims in the South China Sea. In this video, we will examine the details of the event and explore the possible implications of this incident. The United States and the Philippines jointly took action against 26 Chinese boats in Ayunjan, Philippine waters. These boats were found to be engaging in illegal activities such as poaching, illegal fishing, and other activities in the area. The Philippine Navy, with support from the United States Navy, sank these boats to prevent further violations of Philippine laws and regulations. This incident has raised tensions in the South China Sea, where China has been asserting its territorial claims. Ayunjan Philippine waters is located within the Philippine Exclusive Economic Zone, but China has also claimed it as part of its territory. The sinking of Chinese boats in the area may further escalate the tensions between China and the Philippines. The United States has been closely monitoring the situation in the South China Sea, as it has strategic interests in the region. The U.S. has been supporting the Philippines in its territorial disputes with China and has been conducting freedom of navigation operations in the area to challenge China's territorial claims. The sinking of the Chinese boats in Ayunjan, Philippine waters is a significant development in the ongoing tensions in the South China Sea. China has condemned the action taken by the Philippines and the United States, calling it a violation of international law. The incident is likely to further strain the relations between China and the Philippines. A Philippine Coast Guard Maritime Domain Awareness Flight showed fewer Chinese maritime militia ships around the island internationally known as Fitu Island compared to the previous week, according to a Friday release. There is also a People's Liberation Army Navy ship operating nearby a Type 056 Jangdo class corvette. The PCG noted a decrease in the number of suspected CMM vessels observed over Pagasa from 42 last week to 15 on 09 March 2023, according to the release, which added that the Jiangdao class corvette and China Coast Guard ship 5203 continue to loiter within Pagasa Island's 12 nautical mile territorial sea since last week. China has condemned the joint operation and called it a violation of its sovereignty. In a statement released by the Chinese embassy in the Philippines, it was stated that the Chinese boats were fishing in China's traditional fishing grounds and that the joint operation was illegal and provocative. China has also called on the US and Philippines to stop their provocative actions and respect China's sovereignty. The Philippine government has welcomed the joint operation and praised the U.S. and Philippines Navy for enforcing its laws and protecting its sovereignty. In a statement released by the Philippine Department of Foreign Affairs, it was stated that the sinking of the Chinese boats is a clear message to all those who violate Philippine laws and regulations in its maritime domain. China's claim over the South China Sea has been a major source of tension in the region. China claims that it has historic rights over the area and has been building artificial islands, military bases, and airstrips in the region to enforce its claims. This has led to disputes with neighboring countries, including the Philippines, Vietnam, and Malaysia, who also claim parts of the South China Sea. Ayunjan Philippine waters is a disputed area in the South China Sea, which has been a hotspot for illegal fishing activities for a long time. China claims a vast majority of the South China Sea, including Ayunjan Philippine waters, which is also claimed by the Philippines. In recent years, China has been increasing its presence in the area, leading to tension and disputes with neighboring countries.
In a statement released by the U.S. Embassy in the Philippines, it was confirmed that the joint operation was conducted to protect the sovereignty of the Philippines and enforce its laws. The statement also mentioned that the Chinese boats were found to be engaged in illegal, unreported, and unregulated fishing activities. The boats were dispersed in three different areas near Ayunjan, Philippine waters, and all of them were sunk. The tension between China and its neighboring countries, including the Philippines, has been escalating due to China's claim over the South China Sea. On March 29, 2021, the U.S. and Philippines Navy conducted a joint operation and sunk 26 Chinese boats near Ayunjan, Philippine waters. The Chinese boats were found illegally fishing in the area and were warned to leave multiple times before the joint operation took place. This incident has sparked outrage and concerns about China's increasing aggression in the region. China, along with Taiwan and Vietnam, does not recognize Philippines' sovereignty over Manila's holdings and the Spratlys as all three nations claim the archipelago in its entirety. China Foreign Ministry spokesperson Mao Ning said in a Friday press conference that China has sovereignty over the Spratlys and its adjacent waters, and thus it was reasonable and legal for it to carry out activities in waters under China's jurisdiction, according to readers. The JNS DF aircraft were part of JMS DF Fleet Air Wing 31, stationed at MCAS Iwakuni, while the Ray FP-8A has been operating from Kadena Air Base, Okinawa, since early February under Operation Argos, the Australian Defence Forces, ADF. Commitment to the international effort to enforce United Nations Security Council sanctions on North Korea. The Ray FP-8A has been conducting surveillance and monitoring missions on ships suspected to be operating in breach of these sanctions with its deployment to end in early March. That's it for this video. We hope you found it informative. The incident in Ayunjan, Philippine waters highlights the ongoing geopolitical tensions in the South China Sea and the complex issues surrounding territorial disputes in the region. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.